Hello folks, welcome to Shudu Toolbox YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show how to configure an automatic BCC for all inbound and outbound email for a particular user in Zimbra email server. Well, as a system admin, sometimes we get requirements from management or sometimes it could be the legal or audit requirements to get a copy of all email communication of an employee to another ID and user should not know that his or her email communication being monitored. As we all know, we can get a copy of email very easily by set up a forwarding rule, but that is for incoming email. And it is relatively very easy to set up a forwarding rule in almost any email system that exists. But how to get a copy of email that user send? I mean the outbound copy. Okay, I'll show that. And if you need the, uh, that the user should not know that communication is being monitored, you have to do special configuration for inbound also. Obviously, we are talking about configuration that is applicable for Zimbra email server. Let's go to the Zimbra admin console. This is one of my R&D server that is for demonstration purpose only. I have production server for thousands of customer but uh, I cannot uh, interrupt that to make this video. Well, let's log into the system. First of all, I will show you how to uh, configure uh, your system to get the e user email uh, for incoming. So if I go to the uh, management of user management, uh, see I have uh, a user which is user1 at zimra.myfahad.com. I set up this domain uh, just for demonstration purpose which is zimra.myfahad.com. Now I want incoming email of this user will be copied to another ID. So let's say we create another ID which is could be monitoring or could be auditing or manager anything let's say manager manager one at Uh, there are a lot of parameters to create a new user. I'm just keeping uh, all of this because I don't need the, uh, those options right now. Okay, now we have another user, manager1. So if I want to uh, copy all of the incoming email of this user, I need to double click the user and from here you get an option forwarding. Now I am in the admin console. So if you log into the user console, you will also get the forwarding option. But uh, if you do a forwarding, and user can see that, uh, in some cases uh, that could be a problem that you need to have the configuration, uh, but user should not know. See, there are two forwarding options here. One is user specific forwarding address. which is uh, if you do a forwarding address like uh, if I forward uh, all of this email from here to manager1 and the user will able to see this configuration from his uh, own access web access okay but if I want to uh, want that the user should not know this, what we need to do is to go down. There is another option: forwarding address hidden from the user. Well, before doing this, let's see how user can see this configuration. We are going to save this. Going back and log into the user portal. 
if you log in uh, to his webmail he will get this so go to preference and mail configuration see receiving message user can see this configuration his e email is being forwarded to someone else okay so now we will remove this configuration from admin console again forwarding we will remove this and we will do the forwarding from here this is the hidden configuration forwarding at this hidden from the user okay save now we will uh, go back to the user portal again In the preference email see there is no forwarding co configuration here now user cannot uh, know that uh, his email being forwarded to someone else so uh, for incoming email it is very relatively easy you just go to double click uh, go to the user management uh, double click the user go to forwarding and uh, do the forwarding from this uh, option forwarding it is from uh, forwarding address hidden from the user uh, why i'm showing the way from here is this is the easiest way for outgoing email there is no option to do the configuration from this admin console GUI you have to do the configuration on CLI and you have to do that on postfix configuration you can do the uh, incoming sniffing from postfix configuration also for incoming Zimra GUI has a built-in option so you, you don't need to configure on CLI or uh, do the complex things so that's why for incoming you just uh, do it from here Well, let's go to the uh, CLI. Let's log into the server. I'm going to root. Okay. Uh, in Zimba, there are basically two postfix here in the system. Why? Because it is deployed on CentOS. See the OS version is uh, CentOS 7.7. .7. So CentOS comes with a built-in postfix installation. And during the Zimra deployment, we have disabled the default postfix to run on startup to stop running from startup. And uh, Zimra uses its own postfix configuration inside the Zimra installation. So you must edit the configuration for postfix which is applicable for Zimra, not the default one. Let's say uh, we look for the main.cf file which is the postfix configuration file. As you see there are two configuration, two main.cf found here. One is etc postfix main.cf. This one is for the default postfix configuration, not for the Zimra. And this one opt zimra common con main.cf this one is the configuration file from where zimra run the mta so now we are going to edit this file opt zimra common con main.cf so all the post configurations are here so we come to the end we will add the sender bcc here sender underscore bcc underscore maps equal to lmdb hold on opt slash syndra slash Basically, you need to uh, mention a file here, file name here. Uh, that file will contain the configuration. So, what I'm doing is uh, I'm creating a file. I'm just uh, give, uh, giving the configuration here, but later I will create the file also. See, uh, 
what I have put is see what I have done is sender bcc sender underscore bcc underscore maths equal to lmdb this is a, a kind of post fix we will use the binary file you know uh, so lmdb is a binary database and the path is opt zimbra common font which is the zimbra configuration folder and i i will create this file sender underscore bcc and save this file and exit so now i need to create that file I need to edit that file and the syntax is you need to just mention the sender at uh, the user address and the destination address in two columns like uh, I want to sniff the email from user one Go to insert user one at zimbra.mypad.com and now it mean you need to mention the destination address which is the manager one at zimbra.myfahad.com the system will uh, create a bcc for all of the email that user one at zimbra.myfahad.com send it will go to manager one at zimbra.myfahad.com save it now you need to change the ownership ownership of this file so put it is in the common common of center pcc you need to change the permission also so ch mode 755 of it is in the common con sender bcc okay so now you need to create the lmdb file the lmdb file comes with the same path of this file with a dot lmdb extension so we will create the lmdb file from root pt simra common on sender bcc dot lmdb so we need to change the ownership of this lmdb file also permission of this lmdb file also now you need to go to the Zimbra user and you need to uh, tell the post fix to load this configuration file and make this LMTP as a binary database so the command is opt Zimbra common has been post map. See, we use the postmap command to uh, map a configuration file to postfix binary as we are using the zimbra uh, postfix uh, you must you you must need to use the postmap file from inside the zimbra okay so copy it zimbra common on sender pcc so when you uh, run this command this will uh, take the configuration from this sender bcc file and put the con uh, binary configuration into sender underscore bcc dot lmdb file okay so now we have done create an mtsctl we need to restart the mta inside zimbra
it takes a while okay done so uh, so far we have done the configuration so let's do a test so manage i'm going to the user portal so at first uh, let's uh, make a test for incoming so let's send a test mail to this address user one yeah i said it is can be so user one at zinda dot my com test email after making fun hello okay we just uh, this is just a test mail so let's see what happened uh, okay i got the mail on user mailbox see i have sent this email to user1.zimda.mypath.com there is no bcc no cc to the other user so let's go to the other user the manager one where we have configured to get a copy see it works so this user got the uh, inbound copy now we need to check the outbound copy is working or not let's go back to the user again and what you can do is just reply this email okay reply to all this is uh, this reply is going to the original sender uh, paste reply to check outbound copy okay we have sent the mail so we can check from the other user see it's already here this user is a one send the reply to the original sender and from nowhere actually the other user which we configured will get a copy of that email the original email i already got into the email address where i sent okay well now we know how to do it if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up and click the like button and if you want to get updated of my new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel